Uh, my name is Patrick Hurst, I'm Managing Director of Munster Sims Engineering. Otherwise known uh, in terms of its product brand as Whale, or Whale Water Systems. The company itself has got a long history. You can trace back the ancestor roots of Munster Sims to 1810. Uh, and obviously, um, the more recent years, the company would be known more locally for its pump and plumbing systems. The product range today really fits into mobile applications and a mobile application that needs water transferred around it or needs heated is really our space. So examples would be core markets for us today are the marine industry. So big names like Sunseeker, Fairline, Sea Ray, Beneteau, Jano, anybody in the boating fraternity knows whale and whale pumps. In terms of motorhomes and caravans, it's a similar a marketplace in that it's a mobile unit uh, in, in the case of motorhomes and caravans obviously it's a leisure activity as well same as the boats and then we move into other markets such as the uh, healthcare market where we provide uh, a pump system which enables a flat uh, tray shower waste system to go in so that would be for the elderly or the disabled uh, through various industrial applications things like crop spraying chemical transfer to the really exotic world of portable toilets. Um, I'm really passionate about innovation and product development. That's really what I get excited about. So we went out and um, we actually found a machine that is unique in Northern Ireland at the moment, certainly, and is one of only a handful in the UK that rapid prototypes, but it rapid prototypes differently. It not only does it rapid, rapid prototype in plastic, but it also rapid prototypes in rubber. So we can effectively design a pump, uh, the complete unit, including the seals, including the diaphragms, that's made on our rapid prototyping machine, which was a huge investment. But this machine gives us a unique position now that we can take a design, make the design literally overnight, set it on the test bench and run it and prove the design. Not only does it work, but also get life testing out of it. So we can go then to the tooling phase much earlier and with much more confidence in that the end result will be better. The investment um, in R&D, uh, as I say, 11% of turnover is extremely high. It's higher even than the sort of benchmark in Japan, which quite for many years people would have used that as being best in class. The only way that we've been able to do that really has been twofold. Because we're privately owned, we can really decide among ourselves where do we want to spend the money? And the money has been spent on the business despite the economic downturn. We felt that's the best way to grow the business in the long term and the proof is in the pudding because the business has increased around 50% in the last three years. Now part of that, uh, we've been lucky to have had assistance from Invest NI in terms of giving us additional funds for our R&D. The actual value or the money that you get back into the product you're often asked the question, would you have done it anyway? And I think it is true to say that in many cases, companies would have done the product development. However, the difference, and this is a big difference, is that the additional funds that you get can accelerate the time to market. And in these, this day and age, whenever you have such a competitive environment, it is the speed to market. It's not necessarily, do you have enough good ideas? In fact, in this company, we've got far more ideas than we have funds available to bring them to life. The big thing is, can you get them to market fast enough and can you outmaneuver the competition? Because for me, what the recession has done, it's given us an opportunity to grow the business through market share. To grow through market share, we have got to get to the market faster. So a lot of the money and the help that Invest and I have given us has been to accelerate our R&D. One of the awards that we have done for the last three years that we picked on purpose because it's an independent audit, if you like, on your business is the Sunday Times best companies to work for. So we did that three years ago uh, and on year one we got listed in the top 100 in the UK on the uh, SME category, which is the one that we're in. Uh, that was a delight and a hell of a shock. Um, but the feedback's tremendous and it's helped us structure our training and our involvement with the employees to get everyone to feel part of a team uh, much better. We then went in again for the following year and uh, we uh, appeared in the top 100 again, which again was, uh, we were delighted about that. And then we're in it again this year and even though in those three years, you know, more than 50% of our workforce are new. 
So to get them to feel engaged right from the get-go, we feel it's quite a challenge for us. Uh, we made it three in a row and moved up, if you like, the ranking board uh, to number 77 this year. It does take, to be honest, some courage because the questions are extremely direct. Uh, you know, as I said earlier, you know, they literally do ask you, well, what do you think of the leadership in the place? So the first time we did the question there, I wasn't sure after the results whether well, I'll still be here, but so far so good. My name is Claire McRae, I'm the Marketing Manager at Whale. In marketing at Whale, we really handle marketing from the beginning of the concept of the product design right through to packaging, instructions, everything that goes with the product and then promoting it to customers um, all over the world. You're given an awful lot of freedom and as we say, we're always innovating and so for me as a marketer, you would never be bored. There's always a new product coming, there are always new activities coming and so for me, it's been great to go over the last 10 years and really see the development of the brand and be really proactive in that. So that, that's a major factor for me as part of Whale. Um, my name is Richard Boval um, and I'm the design engineering manager. So I look after all the R&D within Whale. Day to day, um, I spend a lot of time with the, the experienced design engineers on each of the different projects. Um, so we have engineers working on uh, design and development projects for each of our main markets. Uh, so I just spent time with them, um, overviewing the projects and keeping projects on track and, um, and then also making sure that we're working on the right strategic projects for the company. Whale has um, grown significantly in the last number of years. Um, there's certainly no, no sign of that stopping and um, it's very exciting actually how, how we see the company going forward. Um, there'll be plenty of um, new product development, that's for sure, um, and hopefully I will still be looking after that product development team with uh, a few more maybe and, and some new and exciting products that we're working on. My name is Jim Sargent, I'm the Robert Prototyping Specialist. Uh, I've worked within Whale now with uh, two years. I uh, started on the shop floor uh, as an assembly operator and then came into the design, the design engineering and gradually went on till actually doing Robert Prototyping. When we first were, were doing uh, rapid prototyping, we were only able to do on ABS material. Now, the ABS material was done on a smaller machine, which only allowed us to do layers of quarter of a mil. Uh, with purchasing the, the newer machine, we're able to go into of rigid materials with rubber materials. We're actually able to combine the two materials together to give us a short hardness on, on our rubber. Uh, and then our resolution, we can actually get down to 16 micron. So for fine detail and for smoother parts, uh, this, this was the, the, the reason for the newer, newer machine and the, the improvement for our product. Well, the, these parts that we're, that we're building, uh, we're, we're able to actually take from our, our final design and uh, have our parts built up right down to final detail. I say it goes down to 16 micron, so it goes down to, to finer detail than what actually a molded tool would, would come out of. We were able to take our parts straight off the machine, straight over to the lab, do full tests. Uh, same as on our rubber material, we were able to, to prototype seals and uh, do our full testing on the, the of seals and stuff for our main pumps. My name is Patrick Roberts, I'm currently Operations Manager. That involves managing the company's supply chain, ensuring we pick the best partners as suppliers and ensuring that product is delivered on time to the factory to ensure customer orders are delivered on time. We currently export to 48 countries and source material throughout the world. Wherever possible, we work with local suppliers. So as the business goes forward, um, hopefully 59 jobs in the next couple of years, uh, a minimum, uh, two sites, uh, we've secured orders. So going forward, you bring new people in and we will need more people, engineers, production, across all the different functions within the business. The one thing we've got to do is keep the skills base high, we need to employ the best people and we need to have everybody on a continuous improvement route. It's definitely a journey and um, there'll be one day I hope somebody in this business, maybe not that far away either, will knock on my door and say you know what Patrick it's been really good and uh, do you fancy a role as chairman, uh, I fancy running the place and if they're good you know I'll not be too shy and standing back and let somebody that's got even more drive and maybe you know more vision than me take over. Where will we find those people? I would like to find and continue to grow the people from within. 
So we do want to hire people and we do want to hire in the best, but we also want to encourage the, our own, if you like, people that have been here uh, to develop themselves. So overall, you have a company full of really talented people.